Okay, so now that we've done um the basic setup, I guess, um, let's get into the fun stuff. Like, I, I know all of that was really boring and I'm long, but I'm gonna try and like get to the point now, right? So, what we're gonna do next is um build the profile section, but not fully build it. We're gonna have the title, we're gonna have the subtitle, we're gonna have the image, but remember what we said, we're gonna have the timeline as a different component and then the button as a different component as well. So for this video, we're gonna create the, this section right here, but we're gonna like create the timeline and the button next and then plug it back in here. So for another video, well, let's, let's go ahead and do that. So wait, let's keep that as open so we can always like refer to that. Nope, not that. Okay, so let's go into the profile and then profile.js. And um, what we wanna do in here is just a basic layout first. So I'm gonna get rid of all of that. I don't think we need it for now, right? Um, actually just that, okay. And um, in here, we're gonna have surround everything with the div, um, right? Um, the div is gonna have a couple um, different styling. So if you notice this, there's a background shadow. So if you look at that, it's white. So the background itself is gray, but we're gonna add the background as well later. But if you look at the background, it's gray. The card or this element here is white and it has some sh some sort of shadow. Like if you look closer, there's a shadow in there that makes it look really good, right? So we're gonna have like some of that coded as well. So using CSS. So let's go back to our code. Um, for this div, um, I'm gonna plus in um, a class name of um, a couple different ones. So I'm gonna have um, a profile, just in case we need to call this. So we're gonna have a profile. We're gonna create, a, so a container shadow, um, container underscore shadow, right? So we're gonna use this CSS that we're gonna write in a different stuff. So like all of these different um, components of pages do have the shadow, right? So we're gonna use that everywhere. So we're gonna have a container shadow and um, we're gonna have a margin, probably a margin bottom, I guess. Just No, we don't need that yet, we're gonna see. But yeah, so inside the div, um, we're gonna have a couple stuff, right? We're gonna create um, the first um, div, which is gonna be the top part. So that that's gonna be um, this part here, the name and um, the title, right? So I'm just gonna give this a class name as well, class name. I'm gonna try and like um, use a lot of basic HTML and CSS instead of um, Material UI I only. I'm only gonna use that where it's necessary. But in there, um, we're gonna have, um, that's gonna be the profile um, name area, right? So name. And then in there, we're gonna use the typography, right? Which is basically just a P tag from Material UI. So typography, make sure you import it just in case if you haven't, right? So typography, um, in there, we're gonna give this a class name class name all my days my typing is bad of um name okay and um so i'm gonna give this my name copy remember i said we're not gonna hard code anything so all this is gonna come from a different file right so um a class name that so this is gonna be the title right so we have a name and a title so the name and a title right so that's gonna be one div um, there. So that's gonna be one. And then we're gonna have a second div, which is gonna be the image, right? So for this, um, I'm gonna use a figure tag, which comes from um, it's figure, um, just gonna help with style, everything easily. easily. Um, figure, um, which is gonna have a class. I think we can use a div there as well. But class name equals to um, profile. I've just built this part here before, that's why I'm using a figure tag, I don't even remember why I did that, but it's basic HTML again. So figure tag, uh, tag it's gonna have an IMG, IMG. So the source is gonna come from somewhere, and um, and yeah, so we're gonna have an IMG there, right? Um, let's give this a class name of profile image, which we have. And then the next thing is gonna be the timeline. Um, or the information I would say, right? So we're gonna, I'm gonna create the basic div right now, but we're gonna add the timeline later. So let's have a div there, um, a div, and then um, let's give this a class name of um, of um, information, so profile. So remember, this whole thing is a profile section, right? So the whole thing is a profile. So everything what I wanna do is gonna have a profile underscore the name, right? So just have um, profile underscore the 
um, information, right? Information. And um, in there, we're going to create a timeline and we're going to have a button. So I'm just going to pop that in right now. Insert timeline. Okay. And then a break. I'm going to get rid of all of this later. And then let's have a button. So I'm going to have a, just a normal button, I guess, for now. Um, my button. Let's save this and see what it looks like. Okay. So, <laughs> yeah, all this, this is so bad. But anyway, so we have the first div, right? Which is the name right so the name is going to have a name and a title um title here right and then we're going to have an image we're still going to pop that image in and then um we're going to have a timeline section and a button right so that's what we need um one two three four all right let's go ahead and install some of this so i'm actually going to get rid of that background um we don't need the background of blue and the background i'm going to lift the red part for now just so you can differentiate the two sides Okay, um, let's go into profile and then um, let's start, go ahead and install this, right? So I'm gonna create a new file called um, profile.css. Um, let's import that here first, right? So imports, we don't have to go anywhere, so just pro, profile.css there. Save that and, um, and um, let's go ahead and do that. So. The first thing is the profile, which is the outer div, right? So this class name here, the profile, which is the outer div, profile name, profile image and information. So the profile is going to have a couple things, right? So remember the background is supposed to be white. So background color is supposed to be um, FFF.white. Um, we're going to have a border regis because if you look at that, we have a border regis, right? So it's a white with a border regis. So border regis of um let's have it as small as possible so what we can do is actually inspect elements um let's put this on the right side so inspect elements and see what the border is is it of that so we have that profile section um does it have a border regis I guess I should be five between five to seven or more. Oh yeah, border regis of six. Yeah, six. Okay, nice. So no, don't let's not close that. Let's open the code again. So border regis of six px, and then um, we're gonna have a width of one hundred percent. All that's want to do that. So whatever you have, have a width of take it a full width just in case if it messes up. I don't think it will. And then, um, so the whole profile, it's going to have a display, just, just have it. Display of inline block, yeah, that's it, that's exactly what I wanted. So display of um, inline block, save that, okay? So, okay, you won't see much there, but let's go ahead and do the name and the, the, name and, um, the title, right? the name and the title so what did i call this so the outer container is called profile name and then inside we have a name and a title right so let's have a profile name profile um so most i haven't written all of them down but most of what i have is already written down on my notes where um i take the css from here just for this section here and um what you can always do is just go into there and then get the css so it has a line height of 18 and a padding of 20 right so we can actually copy and paste that here. Line height of 18 and padding of 20. Save. And then um, the profile. So we're going to have the profile name. And then let's go into the, the name, which is inside the profile name. And then um, for that, we're going to make everything uppercase. So text transform um, uppercase or caps uppercase, right? Um, and then um, let's have a font size. So font size, so I've written this down as well. It says a font size of 17 px. So 17 px, save that. And then um, it's a bold as well, right? So font weight, bold, save that. So let's do the title as well. So profile, name, and then let's go into the title, right? So the title is um, Gonna have a font weight of 13px so i'm gonna copy this my typing is really slow 
so 13 px um and then um it's gonna have um a color a different color so if you look at this this is black but this is slightly like dark gray right and the hex for um a dark gray is 777 so i'm gonna give it a color of um a hex of um 777 save um let's save and see what we have now right so we have a title if you look at the text it looks exactly like that and um, a title as well right so let's pop it an image so remember we created an assets folder and then we had an images in there so i already have a display image i put that in um outside the video so we had an assets folder and then an image just pop an image that you want so i have an image of myself in there and um yeah i call it a display image you can call it whatever you want right so next next thing is um in here sorry in there let's bring in that image so i'm going to require the image that comes from one step back another step back assets slash images slash display image dot is it a jpg save okay perfect so <laughs> Excuse me. So, so we have an image there, right? We're gonna have to style that image, make it like it's correct, um, like correct styling, right? So we have a profile image there. So let's do that. So let's go back profile net. Wait, profile image that, and then um, let's give it a couple of stylings. Um, so if you notice this, the profile image is the container, and then we have an image inside right so let's start the container first um so the profile image is going to have a margin um okay so it's going to have a margin top so we're going to make it slanting right so if you look at that click on that we're gonna um try and copy the stylings right whatever it is right so by default this is gonna this is what it's, it looks like right um where is it okay so we're gonna push this image up and um, wait, you're gonna see that, right? So let's have a margin top of minus 10, minus 10 um, PX, right? And then um, we're gonna copy these two codes. You can type it down, post up again, type it down, or actually get it from um, here, right? Just click on that and it's somewhere in the code. But anyway, so let's do that and save it. Okay, so the container is gonna have a clip out, right, which is a polygon, and um, it's it just launched it this way. So we're gonna push the image up, so there's no margin, like a margin of minus 10, and then we're gonna slant it this way. So if you look at this, like this part here, does not have any space from that element there and here, right? But it's margined up. So let's sell that and the image inside, right? So we're gonna do that again. Oops, profile image. And then let's tell the image inside and um, let's have it, a, let's just give it a width of 100%, right? So it takes the width of 100% of its container. So a width of 100%. I guess that should be good. See, there we go, right? So we have the image, um, it's slanting um, and um, yeah, it has a width of 100%, right? Um, what else do we need? So we need to style these two things. So the timeline and um, the button. So let's timeline. Um, okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna post this video now. For the next video, we're gonna create the timeline and probably the button, or we're gonna do the button after that. But yeah, let's skip. Let's make a um, short videos from now. Um, stop.